champ. Hey, champ. Good morning. Good morning. Between uh, working on gutting out the van and stuff like that, we've been sitting right here on this couch, doing a lot of work on our Pretty computers. Pretty couch. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I mean, we're starting to figure out our Patreon. We're setting it up better. Early access, access to maps. We're trying to work out perks like stickers and hats, toques. Toques. We're thinking about toques. We're trying to figure that out. So yeah, this has like been a really good opportunity for us to sit down and, and like plan everything, as well as like a, we're actually booking gigs and, and doing work. <laughs> so it's a little overwhelming coming back to work after six months out. But. But I'm excited. I'm very excited. But. What? After last two days of kind of sitting here doing this oh yeah we got to get out we decided we can't just yeah. do this anymore so. <laughs> I'm so i'm so over it so today we're heading to the scarborough bluffs and you said champ's really excited champ's yeah champ's like oh we're leaving great somehow he knows <laughs> he wants to be back in the van like I, I don't know how he knows but he knows he's going on an adventure today champ you want to go on an adventure So while Simon gets coffee, I'm gonna drink some hot chocolate. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. And you know what? People like to make fun of me for drinking hot chocolate and say I'm a child, but it's pretty much the nectar of the gods, so I don't know why anyone would complain about that. The van is still kind of a bit of a sorry, disaster. I'm sorry, yeah. We gotta leave in about a half an hour, so we gotta clean up. So Let's go. We are headed to the Scarborough Bluffs to meet uh some prospective van lifers. Just kind of cool meeting people at the beginning of their journey. You know, after we're coming off the first chapter of ours, so uh, maybe we can impart some knowledge or maybe we could just see some cool vans. I hope they bring theirs. I'm not sure if they're going to. They really just got it. They just got their van like yesterday? Uh, yeah, like on the weekend or something. Yeah, yeah, so it's very new and fresh to them, so that's exciting. Hopefully we get their app. Uh, their prospects on things, what they're thinking, and uh, so we can do maybe a little bit before and after, <laughs> see how their mentality shifts a little. a couple minutes late but we had to take a little stop here because we're hungry and, and we got rid of all our food across the border and everyone grocery shopping so this sounds like a job for a Tim Hortons Jesus. it's lunchtime uh, to be like to be quite frank Tim Hortons food isn't very good it's just nostalgic. There's one every block, so if you're in Canada and you're hungry, you just go to Tim Hortons. It's just a thing that you do, but it's not good. But you just keep eating it anyway. Callum, I'm sorry we're late. That's all good, man. That's the bluffs. That's the good stuff. They were filming me while I'm eating. Mm, nom, nom, nom. Tim Hortons. My hands Do you feel are, a lot like, happier now? My hands are freezing, but I can't wear gloves while I eat. It's just too messy. This is the most Canadian problem I've ever had in my life. <laughs> so yeah, we bought our road trek. And oh! oh. <laughs> the breeze caught it. Oh no! You bought a road trek. Which one? Uh, we bought a 1994 road trek 190 popular. Okay, so it's like a, it's on a 150? Uh, it's like on a, one, a, a half ton? I, it, I don't know. I don't know much about cars, man. Uh, it's on a Dodge 350. <laughs> oh, so it's a one ton then. Yeah. Same same as ours. There 92, you go. one ton. We're okay. the same van. Okay, there you go. Just different uh, manufacturer. That's it. Hey. I actually spent three hours last night inside it just, just trying to figure out where the electrical goes and comes from. And yeah. Whether things are on or off. Yeah. Oh, by the way, that, that'll be fun because you're going to learn that uh, all the color coding 
all wrong. Does it make sense? No, nope, none of it makes sense. Perfect. My best friend is actually an electrician, or one of my best friends, anyway. Okay, and, so that uh, should help a little bit. Yeah, I just have to drive to PI first. Uh, <laughs> or, or Skype or something with him. Yeah, <laughs> something. Look at this. Just got getting a little photo session done by the professionals oh, here. Yeah, it's huh. very bizarre. We never get our That's what I look like. That's exactly what I look like when I'm shooting. Uh, too sexy. Gonna be alive back in the house. Champ just jumped into the swamp. That took you actually a surprising amount of time. I think that was like 15 minutes before he was in the swamp. I don't know if he can get in over there. He did a little bit, but that was a full plunge. Champ, come here. Yeah, rolling it. That's good. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> Watch Holy out! But usually it doesn't come in this far in the yeah, it's... summer. You can actually walk straight across to the. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's really like flooded now because the ice is gone. Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, what I do. was oh, okay. <laughs> what was why why did you do the thing? Like, why are you doing it? I guess the first time we ever talked about it, um, we really wanted to go on a trip that felt just more than a crappy vacation, you know. Yeah. And we uh, it was a little bit of luck, I guess, that we had a, a family friend that just bought a road trek, an RV, and once I saw it, I was like, that's it. That's, that's what we got to do. Yeah. We okay. got to buy one of these, and we got to drive around the states with it. Um, and your first trip is like what six months? Um, yeah. Besides the few little weekend trips we'll do, it'll be the it'll be our honeymoon technically. Oh, okay. It'll be uh, yeah. I'm so, I'm so excited. Sell everything, get rid of your apartment, the works, everything. Commit yeah. 100 percent and uh, go live in a van. Pack the gear up, pack up some clothes, maybe I guess. Yeah. Is that normal? Yeah. <laughs> some. Some food, I guess, and. No, I'll get some fuses in case those blow up, and I'll just we'll drive away. <laughs> we we backpacked Europe yes. um, in 2011 or 2012. 2012. I've driven up and down most of the UK. Okay. Uh, Scotland and England and and whatnot. Um, I I'd I'd love to, I'd like to do that. That'd be cool. You guys ever heard of a thing called the Mongol Rally? No. Yeah. Oh man, you've got to actually check this out. So you buy a car has to be a certain age and size, like liter, has to be a smaller engine. And it's a relay, it's a rally race, okay. uh, but more like a fun rally race. And you start in London, and you have to make it all the way to Mongol in Ulaanbaatar. Okay. Or to Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia, not Mongol. Yeah. And, uh, and then you donate the car at the end to the people of Ulaanbaatar, yeah. because they really need vehicles, especially emergency vehicles, if you can get one of those. Nice. Um, and you raise money by like fundraising and stuff. Hey. Whoa, let's do that. And usually you gotta have like, let's do it. you gotta yeah. have at least two people yeah. per car and you raise money and you just go. They do it every year? I've never done it. But they do it, but it They do it every year? year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it sounds like, let's sounds go like get like an ambulance and <laughs> drive it. From London to Ulaanbaatar. 
Well, I've never we're, been to Germany. We're nev we've never been about the short way around. <laughs> it's always been about that long way around, though. How long you We finished our first wedding of the season, um, City Hall wedding. Kind of a smaller deal, but still a lot of fun. Uh, and it was nice to crack out all the gear and, and get back into the swing of things. And then uh, I just finished my first day of uh, commercial photography work today. So what, way, what better way to celebrate than to visit some of my family, uh, my two cousins, and uh, go for wings. We haven't had wings since last time I was visiting my family in Calgary. So uh, it'll be nice. Catch up with my cousins and uh, get some delicious wings. There. This is what I look like when I film. wipes up there? Yeah. It just decided to snow what? How much did it snow yesterday? Like a foot? I don't know, six inches probably. Yeah, it's spring and it, it just decided to dump snow all over us. It's getting us back for skipping winter. Yeah, at least we didn't miss out on anything. Nope. You have reached your destination on your right. Apparently this place is pretty good. I don't know, cousin likes it. Don't we have one of these in Ottawa? No, well, I mean, every city's got fox and fiddle, or this one's fox and fiddle, we got fox and feather. Mm. Yeah. That's different, you know? Yeah, I don't know. They're all just pups. You're wearing my hat. It's a nice hat. You stole it. Came to the wrong fox and fiddle. I think there's like seven of them in this city because it's so huge. And uh, the instructions were a little unclear, so Simon, the poor uh, planner, came to the wrong one. So, we're going to be 20 minutes late now. Half an hour late. We're already, it's already 10 after. Perfect. <laughs> we're stuck at a red light, so Simon decided to get up. This is how he deals with the stress of driving in Toronto. Oh, we're going to be at this light forever! Alright, I'll get back in my driver's seat. And the light still hasn't changed. It hasn't even gone to the next part of the cycle. You want to make a sandwich? I don't have any bread. Oh. All right. Maybe you could fix something that needs fixing. Maybe. <laughs> Rewire the lights while you're waiting. Meow. We should just make a segment called Driving Around in Toronto, where we see how much we can do while we're stuck in traffic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Toronto. I don't know why it's like this because I mean we've been to a lot of big American cities and then clog up like Toronto does. Uniquely cloggable Toronto. I don't know. Mm. Yes. If I ever lived in Toronto I would not have a car. I would definitely not own this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. like the world's smallest little motorbike. Me, me, me. Meow. Alright. Second attempt. It's good inside. It's freezing. Yeah, yeah. I, thought I, like, I thought it was like, it looks like a donut at first. It's like yeah, a warm yeah, donut. And I was like, I want that. But then. You but just then want I to eat just everything. everything. Yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to look again. What do you think? Is it, do you look, does he look just like me? Could be family, right? <laughs> Uncanny. Uncanny. Do the Snapchat thing where you put the beard on. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to, uh, trying to see those family similarities. <laughs> If you look I like the beard, beard, I need the beard. Yeah. I'm starting to grow it, but it's not working so well. <laughs> Is it me? No. <laughs> Does not look anything <laughs> like me, eh? No. No. <laughs> well, who you look like? You could look like uh, Coco. Conan. Yeah, yeah you look exactly. like Conan. Exactly. Oh my god! Last shot!
That's it, man. Do you think the van is in your future? Think you can do the van life? Possibly for like a few months. I think Aiden would want a van. Aiden, Aiden would. He would love it. it for the first day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>